The Prince's Choice, written by Tim Knapman, illustrated by Sara Ugolotti. Once upon a time, there was a cruel king who ruled over a huge empire. His son, the prince, begged the king to use his power for good, but the king refused and banished the prince to a faraway land. Soon afterwards, the cruel king died. It was the law that the prince should be the next king. I will travel home to the palace, said the prince, and spend my life rebuilding the great civilization that my father destroyed. The prince wanted to learn about the empire as he travelled through it. But if people know I am the prince, he thought, they will not be honest with me. So the prince disguised himself as someone from the poorest part of society. He took a purse of gold coins for his journey, but the very next day, a thief stole it. Many people saw the crime, but only a poor peasant woman took pity on him. There's no punishment for thieves, the peasant woman said, because the old king was the biggest thief of all. When she was very young, the cruel king had stolen her family's farm and sent them out into the world with nothing. What did you do? asked the prince. I learned to think for myself and be careful, said the peasant woman, and so must you. As they travelled on together, the peasant woman gave the prince more good advice. Bad people don't always look bad straight away, she told him. Notice what people do, not only what they say. Never forget, most people are good, so be kind to them and they will be kind to you in return. As they continued their journey, she taught the prince all the lessons she had learned about being honest, kind and fair. By the time they reached the palace, the prince's head was spinning. Thanks to her, I have learned everything a good monarch needs to know, he said to himself. And that gave him a wonderful idea. Can you wait here for a moment? The prince asked. There's something I must show you. Then he walked off. The peasant woman was puzzled. Until she saw the prince. You taught me many useful lessons on my journey here, he told her. Because of that, I know that you should be our ruler, not I. When the people heard the news, they rejoiced at the prince's decision. The peasant queen ruled them wisely and with great kindness for many years.